Walt Disney's Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother. The stepmother did not like Cinderella. She made her work very hard every day. Cinderella had two stepsisters. Their names were Drusilla and Anastasia. The stepsisters never had to work. They just pranced around the house in their fancy dresses. And they always made fun of Cinderella because her dress was so plain. One day, a letter came to the house. Drusilla and Anastasia cried. The stepmother, listen to this. She read the letter. It said, the king is giving a ball tonight. His son, the prince, will choose a wife. Every girl in the kingdom must be there. Then I can go too, said Cinderella. You, cried the stepsisters, and they laughed and laughed. But it says every girl in the kingdom must be there, said Cinderella. The stepmother smiled and said, of course you may go, Cinderella. You may go if you do your work first and if you have a dress to wear. Oh, thank you, said Cinderella, and she ran up to her room. Some mice lived in Cinderella's room. They were Cinderella's friends. She had even made little clothes for them. Guess what, she cried. I'm going to a ball at the palace. Hooray, cried the mice. Then she showed them an old dress. It just needs a little mending, said Cinderella, and maybe a sash and some beads to make it look pretty. Yes, yes, Cinderella, the mice, said the mice. Cinderella! cried the stepmother. Cinderella went downstairs. I want you to clean the floor and wash the windows and dust the drapes, said the stepmother. But I did that yesterday, said Cinderella. Do it again, said the stepmother. Cinderella worked as fast as she could, but there was always one more thing to do. Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella! Oh dear, said Cinderella. I will never have time to mend my dress. They make Cinderella work, work, work. A fat, said a fat mouse named Gus. She will have no time to fix her dress, said a skinny mouse named Jack. We can do it, cried the mice. We can fix Cinderella's dress. Gus and Jack sneaked into a big room. The stepsisters were dressing for the ball. I hate this old sash, said Drusilla, and she threw it down. I never want to see these beads again, said Anastasia, and she dropped them on the floor. Jack grabbed the sash. Gus picked the beads. Now they went to Cinderella's room. Look, we found these, said Gus. Now we can make Cinderella's dress really pretty, said Jack. They measured, they cut, they folded, they sewed. They worked and worked as fast as they could. The hours went by quickly. Cinderella had to help the stepsisters with their dresses. When she was done, the stepmother said, It's time to go to the balls, girls. Are you ready, Cinderella? No, said Cinderella sadly. I did not have time to fix my dress. Too bad, said the stepsisters. You must learn to work faster, said the stepmother. They watched Cinderella go up to her room. When Cinderella opened the door, she saw something wonderful. Her dress was ready. Surprise, cried the mice. It's the prettiest dress I've ever seen, said Cinderella, and she put it on. Cinderella ran down the stairs. Wait, she called. I can go now. I have a dress. The stepmother and the stepsisters could not believe their eyes. My sash, cried Drusilla. And my beads, cried Anastasia. They ripped off the sash and pulled off the beads. Cinderella's dress was ruined. Come along, girls, said the stepmother. The prince is waiting for you. And off they went to the palace. Cinderella was left behind. Cinderella ran into the garden. The mice ran after her. How did, how did, how I did wish to go to the ball, said Cinderella. But it was no use. Wishes never come true. Never, my dear, said a voice. Cinderella looked up. There was a little woman with a wand. I am your fairy godmother, she said. I am here to give you your wish. Now let me see, said the fairy godmother. I need a pumpkin and a horse and a dog. With luck, they are right here. And, ah, yes, I will need some mice. When the mice heard this, they began to run, but the fairy godmother stopped them with her wand. Now for the magical words. She said, bippity, boppity, boo. She waved her wand. The pumpkin turned into a coach. The horse turned into a coachman. The dog turned into a footman. And the mice turned into, fo into white horses. Ho now hop in, my dear, said the fairy godmother. But my dress, said Cinderella. Oh my, cried the fairy godmother, I almost forgot. 
She waved her wand again. Cinderella looked down. Her dress turned into a white gown. Her shoes turned into glass slippers. Oh, thank you, said Cinderella. Now hop into the coach, said the fairy godmother. But remember, all the magic ends when the clock strikes twelve. I won't forget, said Cinderella, and off she went to the palace. At the ball, the king was complaining. The prince has met all the girls in the kingdom, he said, and he has not found one he likes. Give him time, said the grand duke. He's had enough time, cried the king. Just then, Cinderella came into the ballroom. When the prince saw her, he bowed. May I have this dance, he asked. Yes, said Cinderella. All night, the prince danced only with Cinderella. They danced around the floor as if in a dream. Everyone said, how lovely she is. Who can she be? Hours went by quickly. Suddenly, the clock began to strike midnight. Cinderella down the pal ran down the palace steps. As she ran, she lost a glass slipper. When the priest reached the steps, Cinderella was gone. He picked up the tiny glass slipper. The girl who wore this slipper is the girl I want to marry, said the prince. He told the Grand Duke to find her. Even before Cinderella was home, the magic ended. The coach turned back into a pumpkin. The coachman turned back into a horse. The footman turned into a dog. And there were Cinderella and the mice just as before. The next day, the Grand Duke took the glass slipper to every house in the kingdom. At last, he came to the house where Cinderella lived. Cinderella was up in her room. Then Cinderella reached in her pocket and pulled out the glass slipper. The Grand Duke bowed to Cinderella. You are the... Oh, oops, forgot a page, sorry. First, Drusilla tried on the slipper. Her foot was much too long. Then Anastasia tried on tried the slipper. Her foot was much too wide. Are there any other girls in the house? asked the Grand Duke. No, said the stepmother. Just then, Cinderella came down the stairs. Who is this? asked the Grand Duke. She is only the maid, said the stepmother. I don't care, said the Grand Duke. She, too, must try the slipper. It fit perfectly. Then Cinderella reached into her pocket and pulled out the other glass slipper. The Grand Duke bowed to Cinderella. You are the pretty, you are the girl the prince says he must marry, said the Grand Duke. So Cinderella went to the palace and married the prince, and they lived happily ever after.